In this video, we're going to connect to Firebase Cloud Firestore using Flutter for Windows. As with Flutter for mobile devices, it makes sense that some of you might want to use Firebase's Cloud Firestore as your database solution for Flutter for Windows. Unfortunately, it does not appear the official package supports Windows yet, but I do have a solution that will work for you. The first thing we're going to do is go to console.firebase.google.com. We're going to click on add project here. If you haven't created a project before, it should say create a project. We'll give it a name. We're going to disable Google Analytics and press create project. We'll wait for it to be created. Okay, it's now created, so we'll click the continue button. We're now going to scroll down a little bit and click this cloud fire store. We will click create database. Here we're going to start in test mode because we're just wanting to test for right now. Hit next. You can pick your cloud fire store location. I'm in the central US, so that works for me. And I'm going to hit enable. Okay, you should be on this page now and we're going to start a collection. We're going to call it groceries. We will start with a name and put apples. Select an auto ID and hit save. You should now see it in your collection. Now we need to get two things for our project. Click on project overview up here at the top and you're going to click this web link right here. We'll just enter fire store windows tutorial again and click register app. Now in the code on the screen, you will see two things, an API key, and a project ID. We're going to copy those and save them for use in a second. So we're done with the Firebase website at this point. So we're just going to minimize it because we're going to come back to it later. We're going to go into our terminal and we're going to type in flutter pub add fluent UI. That's what we're going to use for our windows app. And then to connect to Cloud Firestore, we're going to use a package called FireDart. If everything works correctly, you should be able to go into your PubSpec YAML file and you should see them installed. Now we will go ahead and delete everything. We're going to go ahead and import Fluent UI at the top. We'll create our void main. Then we'll create a stateless widget here. We'll replace this container here with Fluent app. Down here, we'll create a stateful widget. We will set the color to blue inside this container. We take that and we run it. And that's how it's looking at the moment. So now let's go ahead and get Firestore initialized in our app. We need to import FireDart at the top. Directly below the import, we're going to create two constants, one for the API key and one for the project ID. So these are the two things that we saved earlier. We're going to go ahead and put those in these values. And then here in main, we're going to make an adjustment. And we're going to initialize Firestore right here at the top. So to test our connection, let's go ahead and just read the groceries collection to the console. Let's add an instance of our groceries collection inside Firestore home state.
And then we're going to remove the text widget and put in a column and a button to list the grocery records. And there's the button there. Now in this on pressed here, we will grab all the records from the grocery collection and simply print them out. I'm going to restart the app here. And if I press list groceries here, we should see the record in the console. Now we're going to add a grocery item to our groceries collection. We can first add a button. We now have the second button here. And then we can simply add this code to add an entry of bananas to the collection. Now if we press this button here, we will see that the add item button was pressed. If we go back into our collection, you'll see the new entry with bananas in it. And if we press list groceries again, we will now see both records. Now we need to add a button to edit a grocery item. We'll just create a button underneath add grocery item. And we will see that button right there. And we're just going to hard code an update for now. So we're going to grab this ID for apples. Copy that. So we will grab the document with this ID and then modify it to have an exclamation point. And then we will print edit grocery item button pressed. So now if we press this button here, we see it printed edit grocery item button pressed. We see that the record has the exclamation point now. And if we press list groceries, we also see the exclamation point there. Finally, we're going to add a delete button to delete a record. Underneath edit grocery item, we'll create another button. And it's right there. We will just reference the same document ID. We'll print that the delete button was pressed. We'll press the delete grocery item button. We'll see that the delete grocery item button was pressed here. We'll see that the record is gone. The only one is bananas now. And if we press list groceries, we'll see that there's now only this one record. So that's the absolute basics for working with Cloud Firestore and Flutter for Windows. In part two, we will add a list view and build a working app. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.